Starting here with Boy News, how's everyone this evening? Uh, tonight I'm just going to talk to you about four games I picked out in the North Eastern Football League divisions, uh, four divisions, so I uh, picked out one game from each division. Um, so the first game is in the Premier Division, it's between Newfoundland and Boyne Harps. Um, Newfoundland won last week, good way win against Carrick Rovers. Um, that's not an easy place to go, so I think about them 4-1. So they picked up three points last week, uh, as well as... Uh, Boyne Harps actually travelled to the dock last week and they bet Rock Celtic 2-0, so that was a good, uh, good result. Um, I, I, I actually thought that they, they, they wouldn't get all three points in, in the dock, but the huge three points for uh, Boyne Harps is the push on for the league. Um, this is a big one uh, on Friday night, as between, it's between the three teams at the top uh, of the Premier Division, Newfound, well, Boyne Harps, and I have them all. Um, it's a hard one to call. I think it's going to be a draw between the two teams on Friday night. Uh, two equally good sides. Um, but a draw and that could lead things open to my heaven the more to get back in the race at go top. Um, I don't think to be more separating them. So I, I think it's going to be like a 1-1 or 2-2 draw on Friday night in the draw of the derby. But it should be a cracker of a game and it should be a great crowd up at Diffie. So... Um, I look forward to that game Friday night um, and hopefully there will be a cracker of a game. Uh, then Division 1 game between Kings Court and Kenston Rovers. Uh, basically, Kenston Rovers had actually a decent enough season so far. Um, they won a good win. Uh, was, it, was it home or away to Enfield? I'm not sure, but the, the bet Enfield 4 1 last week. Uh, they'll be going well of late. Um, they probably. They probably just the losses to Toro and Park Villa probably didn't. It'll probably like kind of ruin their chances of probably going up this year. But uh, it's not a bad season uh, for them this year. Uh, Kings Court on the other hand, they're struggling of late, but they got a good result last week against OMP. It was one all, and um, I think they they were at home for that one. I'm not. I'm not sure now. Uh, if a team goes down this year in Division 1, because I heard rumours that Trim Town have pulled their team, so I'm not sure, like, will that, will that another team go down in their place, but Kings were our tro- struggle of late, and Friday night, they'll be looking to get all three points, but to be honest, I don't think they will, I think Kenson just a good r- reign of form, and they will should push on Friday night and get collect all three points. And then Division 2 game is the Dundalk Derby between Randomere FC and Wunsi Celtic, um, when we are top, we've only one game left to play, and that's against Woodview. Woodview are second as well, so the the two, the three or four teams that could win win the league in Division Two at the minute. Um, it's a funny one if Randomir win on Sunday, and say, the likes of BFC and Johnson, if it could, it could go to a three way playoff. I worked it out there today, so that could be interesting. But uh, results have to go to everyone's way for that to happen. So it's probably unlikely, but um, it's it's uh, interesting enough. Uh, the way it is in Division Two at the minute, like I said, just uh, three or four teams are there. Would view are there as well. So, um, who's gonna win on Sunday? Uh, I think Randomly are just gonna w- win by the odd goal. I think it'd be one nil or two two one to Randomly. So. Three points, as I said, that'd be another good, that'd be a good Dundalk derby on Sunday. And then Division 3, there's a couple of good matches in Division 3, but this one I think is a part one, it's between Park Celtic, Summerhill and Moneymore. Uh, Moneymore sits second, uh, second behind Donna Kearney in Division 3. Um, Park Celtic, Summerhill are having an alright season, getting a couple, a good win against Lords last week. And it was seven nil, I think it was, and then money more. Obviously, last week were knocked out of the out of the commencement sheet one nil by Baileyborough. But I wouldn't mind that. Like they can concentrate now on the league. They probably obviously won't be happy about that. But now is the time to concentrate on the league, and I think there will be Summerhill on Sunday, but there won't be much in it. And that win, I think, as well as on Sunday. Donna Kearney are playing Kermesson as well. And I think Donna Kearney will drop points in that game. So a win for Money More on Sunday would be cru- crucial for their title challenges. I think they will 
uh, when but there won't be much in it and Park Villa will make them or Park sorry, Park Celtic Summerhill will make them work all very hard for all three points. Um but yeah I could see money more winning and also Donna Carney dropping points and that could open up as the new town up there as well so but it is very important that money more get that victory on Sunday. But it'll be an interesting game but yeah I predict all three points for money more. And then the last game is Division 4 game between Bolton and Mean and Thatch FC. Yeah, this is the last game of the season for both teams, I think. Um, Bolton Mean have to win. Uh, Millmount done the business last week. They won, so they're top of the league. And if Bolton Mean don't win on Sunday, Millmount are, are champions. So it's a must win for them. They, Bolton Mean drew against... Slain, I think Slain scored in the last minute, but I heard they worked very hard for the for the equaliser. So, um, I heard they're very unlucky, but I mean, so it will be it'll be a tough game on Sunday. Uh, should draw a huge crowd like Touch FC, like <laughs> they played their part as well. They bet uh, Midmount there the two two weeks ago as well, but the one last week as well. I think they bet four four through five nil or something. So they're in good form. So this will be an interesting game on Sunday. Um, oh yeah, actually, I don't know what it's a hard one to call. Like it, it draws on enough, obviously, for what I mean. So, um, I would say I go for what I mean win, but it'll be in the probably get an odd goal in the last ten minutes. It it probably leave it late to add a bit of drama to the league. So that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, I think what I mean should edge it out. Which should be a huge crowd there on Sunday. And no doubt a lot of the draw the lads will uh, come down and watch the game and see how it goes. So plenty of interest in that game. Um, that's all for Division Cover that. So thanks very much for tuning in. And I'll probably do another video during the week. And I'll have to watch the football. Cheers lads.